Now remember in hair cutting too, your finger direction is going to set up your cutting angle, okay? It's always about the finger. I don't care what direction you want to do, how you want to cut it, the finger is what sets up the cutting angle. Now your elevation, how high or low you elevate the hair is going to help you to be able to distribute the weight. Hair cutting is all about weight distribution. So I want to bring this hair all the way to this side. And I want to get rid of as much weight over here as I could. So I'm going to lightly slide with my razor. And as I slide, I'm moving across the same way. And I just take it down slowly. And I'm starting to get the feel that I want to get, OK? So I'm going to take it down really, really slow. I want a little bit more, so I'm going to bring it back again. I'm going to grab the same place. Bring it all the way back again, and you're just going to keep that same process up until you get rid of as much of that weight. Now, when I use the razor this time, I'll turn around over here so you can see too. When I use the razor, I'm not coming right in to take a, off a lot of the length. I just want to get a softer movement out of, the, out of the hair. So again, I take it and bring it all the way over here. Keep your head straight. Bring it all the way over. Now, if I, my finger position is here, then that's where the shortest point is going to start. If I shift my finger like this, then I have a shorter point, but I'm going to have more weight removing out of this section, but it will still be soft as I go by. So I'm going to bring it up. This is like my guideline that I started already, so I have a point of reference. Now I'm going to take my razor again on the top and remove the hair off the top and move right with it all the way to the other side. And you see how nice and soft that makes that cut? So depending on how sexy she want to be is how long you want to leave that. And you know you girls like to have that hair all in the face like that. So, so it's getting there, but she ain't sexy enough yet, OK? We got to work on her sexy just a little bit more. But you see how nice that hair smooths in there? And you'll get that only from a razor. I'm going to switch the razor. That blade is getting a little dull. But uh, now I'm going to take a little bit more on this side because I want it to fall in a little bit better. I'm just going to grab all of the hair again. I'm going to turn around this way so you can see on this side now. Bring all the hair over as far as I can. If the hair falls out, we're going to let it go. I'm going to comb this hair up into my finger. I'm going to position my finger where I want to make the cut. And I'm lightly going to walk to the other side. So now, see, now we're getting down into a section. OK, so now on this side, since we, got, we can see the eye now, we see that nice flow over here. So I want to get a little more movement on this side. I want this to be a short side. So I'm going to take the hair. I brought this hair to this side. Now I'm going to take this hair. I'm going to bring it out in front of her. Got to have another comb. I'm going to bring the hair out in front of her. And I'm going to bring it as far forward again to this side. And now I'm going to work back the same way. Yes, sir. I just wanted to know when we get out there if they got any questions. I'll get the mic over to you so you can ask some questions of this. Take advantage of him while he's here. This man knows more stuff than we most of us even think about. <laughs> well, Take advantage. You. Let me get you got a question. Nice, though, didn't it? Got a Were question right here, Madrid. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Were you cutting from the top or from the side? Um just now it's cutting from the top. Good yeah, question. It was from the top, but as I moved down, I worked a little inside. I'll show you again with the simulation. Once I got the hair all the way to this side, and I positioned my finger, then I worked from the top, slightly removing hair, and then I went under to get rid of weight. Make sense? Any other questions? Sometimes if you don't get rid of that weight, the hair's going to be way too bulky. No matter what you do, it's not going to work. So you have to get that texture correctly. Exactly. You have to take that hair down so it fits and does exactly what you want it to do. Now, right now, I'm going to cut on the top because I, I want to keep some pieces, but I want to get rid of that line so I lightly 
cut on top of the hair just to thin it out. Okay? Anybody else have a question? Any other questions out there? Come on. You, he is so good, you don't have any questions at all. Well, I just made it plain, I guess. I guess you did. You've done well. I enjoy watching Madrid all the time. If you all get a chance to catch his advanced training classes when he comes to town, you need to do it because you will learn. There's one thing that we have an overriding factor in any of our AE classes. When you come there, you will start out, and when you leave, you will know more than when you, left, you, when you got there. You will know stuff. That's right. <laughs>